In a serene village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a young woman named May. She was known for her kind heart and gentle spirit, but beneath her serene demeanor, a hint of jealousy lurked, casting a shadow over her contentment. May wondered if her jealousy made her a bad person, and she sought answers from the wise Zen master, Master Hero. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, May found herself wandering through a vibrant marketplace, filled with merchants displaying their exquisite crafts. She admired a beautiful necklace, crafted by a talented artisan named Sora. A feeling of envy washed over her as she compared her own artistic abilities to Sora's. Feeling conflicted, May sought solace in the serene garden of the temple, where Master Hero sat, immersed in meditation. May says, Master Hero, does my jealousy make me a bad person? I wish I could embrace happiness for others without feeling envious. Master Hero opened his eyes, his expression gentle and understanding. Master Hero reply, Dear May, jealousy is but a passing cloud in the vast sky of your heart. It does not define your essence, but rather offers an opportunity for self-awareness and growth. Master Hero encouraged May to practice mindfulness, to observe her jealousy without judgment. By acknowledging her emotions with compassion, May could gain insight into the roots of her envy. Master Hero shared a Zen koan, when the moon reflects on the water, the whole river glows. He explained that just as the moon's reflection illuminates the river, jealousy can serve as a mirror, reflecting aspects of ourselves that we may not fully understand. Master Hero says, cultivate gratitude for the abundance that surrounds you. Focus on your own blessings and talents, celebrating the uniqueness of your path. Master Hero suggested transforming jealousy into inspiration. Instead of seeing Sora's talent as a threat, May could view it as an opportunity to learn and grow, celebrating the beauty of craftsmanship that enriched the village. Master Hero says, remember, we are all imperfect beings on the path of self-discovery. Embrace your imperfections, for they are part of what makes you beautifully human. As the moonlit garden embraced them, May found solace in Master Hero's teachings. She realized that her jealousy did not define her character, but rather how she responded to it. Through mindfulness and self-compassion, May embraced the imperfections within her heart. Each day became an opportunity to cultivate gratitude, celebrating her own artistic journey while finding inspiration in the talents of others. In the village, May's demeanor transformed, radiating a newfound sense of contentment and harmony. She no longer saw jealousy as a burden but as a teacher, guiding her towards a deeper understanding of herself and others. May's journey was a testament to the transformative power of Zen teachings. As she continued to walk the path of self-discovery, May discovered the beauty of her own uniqueness, coexisting harmoniously with the talents and gifts of those around her. And so, in the tranquil village, May's heart blossomed like a delicate lotus, embracing the lessons of jealousy with grace and wisdom.